Okay, guys, so I'm not sure if you guys have been keeping up with what's been going on with the Ace family, but if you haven't, the Ace family home is actually going up for foreclosure. Now, I reported on this a few months ago, and just yesterday, someone from the Hollywood Fix was actually at the auction for their home. Calderon Road, Los Angeles. Vacant land directions may be obtained by written request. Executed by Ace Hat Collection. And California TD Service, California TD Specialist, excuse me, as correct. Now, this is just a portion of the actual auction. You guys can head over to the Hollywood Fix to see the whole thing. But their house was actually auctioned off. Now, no one bought the house, so it was returned back to the bank. Now, when I reported on this a few months ago, Austin did go onto Instagram and he said that this was all cap and that they were not getting evicted. Yeah, they're not getting evicted because they own the home, but they're getting foreclosed on, meaning the bank can kick them out. Now, I'm not sure why no one bought this home at the auction, but from what I'm hearing, their home is surrounded by a bunch of million dollar homes and their home is worth nine million dollars. So no one wants to spend nine million dollars in a one million dollar neighborhood now like i stated if you guys want to check this out there's a lot of public records about the ace hat collection which is austin and Catherine's company the house is under that name and it is being foreclosed on well it was already foreclosed and the bank took ownership anyways let's get on to the next topic on twitter with a tweet from sean garrett now i'm not sure who sean garrett is so if you guys know comment down below but he is verified so anyway he tweets this girl next to me is going off to some queen nyjah i don't know what she going through but god bless you gotta be down bad to have her music hitting you like that so guys i'm guessing queen just had enough of people talking down on her music so queen actually responds to the tweet with imagine going out your way to never mind then she goes and she tweets why people always messing with me lol i really be minding my big business so guys queen is fed up with people discussing her music publicly trying to put her on blast so yeah she is with the ish right now anyways i want to get on to the next topic with joelle Lauren and if you guys remember Asia so let's go back to two weeks ago in this video I have here I stated that Joelle and Lauren split again now if you guys don't remember back sometime in early September Joelle and Lauren got back together Lauren gave Joelle another chance well not even a month later Joelle started posting these gold digger pranks again and guess who's in the gold digger pranks Yes, his side chick, Asia. Not only that, it seems like they're back together. Look at all my bro pulls. Oh, bro. Golly, bro. Look at my bro. Oh, my bro. Yeah. Man, get out of here, man. So, guys, this is a video that one of his friends posted on Instagram. Now, you can see Asia getting out of the car in the back. Now, Joel did repost this. I'm guessing he didn't see the part with Asia in it. And like 20, 25 minutes later, the post was completely deleted on both pages. As you guys can see, Asia has her hair like that right now. She's getting out of the car with him. Joel and Lauren are no longer together. So in my understanding, that seems like Joel couldn't leave Miss Thing alone. Lauren probably found out and kicked his butt to the curb yet again. Now, I'm not sure why this girl went back to him. I'm not even sure why Lauren went back to him. I mean, I get it more. She has three kids with him. But this girl, this girl Asia, Went and got Joel's name tattooed on her. Then he had you on the internet crying, looking like a fool because he decided to go back to his wife slash baby mother. Now, I'm not sure what they have going on here. I'm not sure what type of potion Joel is putting on these women to make them continuously go back to him after he embarrasses them. Now, I'm hoping 
Lauren is completely done with him at this point. She hasn't stated anything about it, and I hope she keeps it that way. I hope she just moves on from this situation, get bigger and better. Now, anybody doing these gold digger pranks honestly cannot be in a relationship. Let me go on to the next couple that are having some issues because of this. So, Nair also put... This girl went through my phone and now she packing my stuff. I think we going to Miami. Now, someone else responded to like, are you and Jalen together? Like what's going on? And then Jalen responds with, no, we not together. And then the person says, why not? What happened? Y'all are good together. And then Jalen responds with this exactly right here. Now she is speaking on these gold digger pranks that Nair is doing. Now, if you guys did not know, these gold digger pranks are a bunch of baloney. What these guys are doing is they're hitting up Instagram models or Instagram girls that look good and they're asking them to do videos with them. Now I have proof of this because one of the women that was in Nair's gold digger prank reached out to me with an issue that she actually had with Nair. Now, let me read what she wrote. She says, Nair has a couple more hours to right his wrong or I'm going to spill all the tea. Stay tuned. I'm the girl in his last gold digger prank. And I'm like, girl, what happened? Spill it. So this is what she responds. He with. asked me to do a gold digger prank, which took me some time to come around to. Finally, I decided to drive from Louisiana to Texas to do it. I'll send receipts. Well, we done the video. You can go see it on his page and all I asked was for him to at me and lo and behold he didn't until I brought it to him and then he decided to go and put it in the description but he never paid me for anything no travel gas food etc so he said he would today but he still didn't pay me anything then when I asked him to work with me if he's not gonna pay me he said it doesn't work like that now I don't expose people but he deserves to be exposed because he asked me to work with him not the other way around like most he's does. making money off the video that I don't benefit from so it's called greed in my eyes I could say more but I'll leave it like that and I'll send you proof of not getting paid and these pranks are fake and staged of course they are anyways she does send me like receipts of her and not ear speaking she's like I don't do stuff like this but no one would drive from one state to another for absolutely nothing so she shows proof of Nair like hitting her up and she basically asking him for money or whatever you know to get paid for her coming out now Nair said I'm sorry you feel that way and I appreciate you coming to do the video send me your cash app he sends she sends him the cash app and he sends her two hundred dollars I believe she stated two hundred dollars for travel gas and her time so there you guys have it I mean there wasn't like a contract or anything stating like you have to pay her this amount of money she didn't even request it so I'm guessing he doesn't owe it to her but here ha you guys have the proof that these gold digger pranks are staged and fake so for whoever was believing that this stuff is real it's not. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this situation down in the comment section below. Do you guys feel like that Nair should have paid her something? Or do you guys feel like that since she didn't state she wanted to get paid for the video, then he didn't owe her anything? Let me know down in the comment section below.